Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, look. There's going to be swearing. There's going to be smoking. Oh, yes. And there's going to be some drinking around these parts. So look, look. If you don't like those things, you better leave now because here I come in three seconds. Three, two, here I come. One, bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. My name is Shmire Clark. We have a great bang, bang, bang show for you today. Yes, brothers. Now I know. I know the show's coming a little late, brothers. It's now 6.02 in the a.m. Well, yeah, brothers, well, you know where I live and you know what goes on around these parts. And look, look, what goes down around these parts went down around these parts. And so, look, look, but I'm still here, aren't I? Bang, always on duty, 6 a.m. Yes, they can't stop me, son. Look, look, yes, don't worry about that, brothers. Yeah, don't you ever worry about that. All the substances on earth can't stop me, boy. Look at here, boy. Look here, boys. So we got some stuff today. Yes. Look, V-Chain hodlers. New partnership. Now, I'm not sure if this is the thing that I read last week, but I, it, because it's a new company. All right. So yeesh, we're going to read this. V-Chain, brand new. And it's this. Anyway, we'll get there when we get there. Tron hodlers. Now, it's an interesting thing, and this is how I'm going to start looking at. You guys know I'm a I'm a platform token lover. I believe that the platform token is where the true battle of cryptocurrencies will be. That's where, for the next years, you know, they'll be upgrading and battling. And now I've got more transactions. Now I've got quantum proof. Now I've got blah 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 blah. <clears throat> right, and like I told you, I think down the road, distributed apps are going to be huge. No, no more of just these crypto kitties and fucking little stupid little gambling things, but it'll they'll figure out to do stuff with it, right? Real, real stripper stripper app. So Tron, we're gonna look at Tron. Yes, and Tron is it set to take over the D app ecosystem? Well, those aren't my words; those are the words of the story we're gonna read. And then bang bang, Christine Lagarde, you know the IMF lady. <clears throat> yes, yes, she says crypto is shaking up the system. And we're going to talk about that. Eh, yes. I know. And I know. I know what you want. I know what you want. You're saying, Shamari, you saw what happened to Ripple today. Give these Ripple lovers the business. Why? Why? Just because they lost the fifth largest bank in Japan? Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Like, you're in a brand new, you're a brand new thing. You've already lost your first partnership. Fuck. Yes, Ripple lovers. The fifth largest bank in in Japan. Say, yo, go fuck all that SBI. <laughs> that tap pay thing or whatever it's called, right? It's called tap pay. They're like, yo, fuck all that. This is a bunch of fugazi. Look, Ripple lovers. Over 200 banks use RippleNet. You better ask yourself. But I'll show you. I know. I have it right here. Actually, fuck this. I mean, I'm not going to do the whole story. But I'm just going to prove to you that. I do actually have it here. So see, here it is. I know, I thought about doing the story, but I was like, fuck it. Yeah, the Japanese bank abandons work with SBI's Ripple's Money Tap app. Yeah, this is the fifth largest, right. The Japan's fifth largest bank. Yeah, Japan is a financial hub of the world, right? In this world, we have three financial hubs, New York, London, Tokyo. In other words, America, the UK, and Japan are the financial hubs of the world. <clears throat> everything else sort of plugs in if you kind of want to look at it that way yes and look the fifth largest bank yep told ripple and those boys they go fuck yourselves this is a bunch of fugazi but we're not doing it we are not doing that story so let's get oh well since we're already here on the internet let's just bang just get right to the stories like this yes let's just do it how we normally do it all right yes that was a good segue perfect that worked all right yeah, man, I'm not going to fuck all that. Like I said, man, like I said, you know, eh, fuck all that. Look, all right, let's see. Let's do a refresh. Let's see how we do. So we're at 5,000. So on the Bitcoin things, we're at 5,118. Let us do a refresh. Eh, down. What is that? $27? Whatever, man. Who gives a fuck? 5,093. Okay. On the Bitcoin chart. All right. So, guys, <clears throat> let's begin how we begin, shall we? Top 10 of the day, brothers. Usual suspects of the day, brothers. <laughs> look, look. We got 
Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, EOS, Binance Coin, Tether, Stellar, and Bang Cardano. All right, it's looking mostly green. Let's call it single digits up to single digits down. 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 Two single digits up, two single digits down. All right, brothers, let's see who lost money today. Let's see if anything's on sale today. Anything you like in here, go get some. Get it, get it. Bang. All right. Holy, this crypto.com chain is always in the top 10, bottom 10 thing, man. Those, pri those prices move so violently. <laughs> Damn. Mm. All right, brothers, look. Top 10 loser of the day. Crypto.com chain. True Chain, ABBC Coin, Revein, Maximine Coin, Augur, Digitex Futures, Populous, Monero, Zcash, and Aeon. Let's look at the top 10 earners of the day. Bang! Yes. All right, top 10 earners of the day, brothers. GX Chain, Aurora, Basic Attention, Engine Coin, Lisk, Huobi Token, Chainlink, Walton Chain, Factum, Qcoin Shares, and Nebulas. All right. Solid earnings today, brother. Solid earnings. All right. Let's look at the total market cap of the day. Total market cap of the day is 172.9. And total volume of the day, 40 billion. Now, what was our thing yesterday? Bang. So we went up 3 billion in market cap. Yesterday's market cap was 169.7. We're up to 172.9. Let's just call that 173 even. And we can just call this 170 even. So we went up 3 billion today in market cap. And way down in volume. We were at 54.2 billion in volume yesterday. And we are at 40.5 in volume today. So what that tells me is, again, volume down, yet cap is up. Money's coming to play. Money is coming to play and stay and play and stay. Looking good, brothers. Look, look. Play and stay, brothers. Play and stay. All right. All right. So this story here. So first of all, bang. Here's, let's give it a bang. So I, this story here, <clears throat> the reason I, I brought it up, uh, well, I said, like, I'm not sure if this is the same thing because I'm pretty sure it's not the same thing because it's a whole different company. But. But they're doing the same thing. So it looks like VeChain, there's this, so there must be some whole new industry or, or not industry, but I don't know, just thing out there called the Internet of Clothing, of clothes. And uh, right, remember we read that VeChain is that inter doing the Internet of, <clears throat> the Internet of Clothes thing with that one company? Well, here's another one. <clears throat> I think this is another one. I'm pretty sure this isn't the same thing. All right. Hold on. So, let's check it out. Right? And it's dated April 12th. So, that was yesterday. So, I think this is new. It's a new customer, but doing the same thing, like checking uh, the clothing. All right, let's check it out. Uh, the crypto space primarily is focused around revolutionizing the fintech and banking industry. As the first cryptocurrency ever created, Bitcoin was created to be used as a currency like digital cash. All right. Even so, this innovative industry develops and matures. Oh, even so, with this innovation, innovative industry develops what? Amateurs, a number of other blockchain use cases have come to light. And the tech is uh, affecting uh, a variety of different industries. Fucking right it is. It's not just about fintech. How is this the bullshit? Anyway, whatever. One of the leaders at the front of the cryptocurrency project, what? VeChain, which is innovating a number of industries other than finance. Exactly. Exactly. Aside from the plans and development on VeChain to target supply chains, logistics, automobiles, 
Internet of Things, Government Affairs, and Blockchain's IDs, they have delved into the fashion industry with innovative blockchain solutions. So, you know, obviously there's a lot of knockoff, you know, Gucci purses and, you know, Versace, this and, you know, whatever, whatever, right? <clears throat> Knockoffs, a lot of knockoff clothing. And I guess VeChain is going to help stop that. So at the start of April, <clears throat> one of the biggest collective multinational consumer electronics and home appliances, Hair, held a global research, um, right, global release of the achievements of Cosmoplat Industrial Internet Eco Brand Platforms event where they announced a strategic partnership with VeChain and DNVGL. So I want you to tell you something. Yeah, you know why you're gonna make you're gonna make so much money with Vtain. Yeah, D and VGL. They always say this in these stupid little articles. It's a partnership with Vtain and D and GVL. Now, D and VGL owns ten percent of of Vtain, so it's not a partnership with D and VGL. D and VGL is just an owner of Vtain. It's Vtain doing the work, right? D and VGL is not doing it. These crypto sites they say things a little funny. Um, <laughs> you know. Anyway, I'm not. Anyway, Cosmo Plat. <clears throat> Is a newly launched. So remember, like, so this is Cosmoplat. Remember the one we read last week, or maybe even was earlier this week. I don't remember. It was called something else, and that's why I think this is a different project, a different Internet of Clothing project. So this is the new one that they have. The second Internet of Clothing project called, I think. If I'm wrong, just tell me in the comments. And well, sorry for reading you the story twice. <laughs> Look, but Cosmoplat is a newly launched Internet of Clothing platform. That will use the VeChain Thor blockchain protocol to create the first blockchain-based clothing lifecycle management platform. So it's this whole lifecycle management platform. The goal of the VeChain partnership and Cosmoplat platform isn't to just provide to merchants, but to other clothing industries with complete, isn't to just provide to merchants. I see the English is bad on this. <clears throat> Shit, one second. Um but to other clothing industry with complete transparency and connectivity between themselves, but also to include the consumer too. So the VeChain the v -Chain Foundation posted a blog on Medium in which the executive director of Air Institute of Industrial Intelligence, Zhang Weiji, stated, this strategic cooperation with VeChain empowers the clothing lifecycle management system through public blockchain technology, enhancing consumers' trust, which is becoming essential for a business to succeed. An ecosystem approach is the best way to increase levels of transparency and trust with innovative solutions that bring together various technology elements combined with verification activities. All right. <clears throat> so you're going to know that that Gucci purse you bought, ladies, yes, he was made by Gucci himself. <laughs> look, look. With VeChain Thor's blockchain technology and the Cosmoplat platform, a massive string of data information between stores, farmlands, factories, consumers, and more will be created for Air's fashion line products. You see, I don't remember. Was this the company we read about the other day? If it is, I'm sorry, guys. In terms of price, VeChain is currently set at 24th, and the price is blah, 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 blah. Who cares what the price is until these institutional investors arrive? But bang, VeChain hodlers. <clears throat> yeah. I think, is that the same company, Air? I don't remember. It wasn't called the Cosmoplat, so... I don't know, but bang, another paying customer. And let's see who else is getting some paying customers. Bang, look, look. Now, you guys, like I said, man, you guys know me. I'm a token uh, platform token lover. I think these guys are going to battle all day for the next 10 years. It's going to be who's got the most transactions, who's got the most users, who's got the most dApps, right? They're all going to be saying, I'm the best at this, I'm the best at that, I'm the best at this. Yeah, yeah, this is going to go on for a long, long time. So, Tron lovers, though, seems to be working out good so far. Let's check it out. So, Tron blockchain technology is known for its accountability. Is it? All right. The cryptocurrency project is fond of giving its lovers. See? See, they're copying my language. The article wrote that. It's lovers, it says. Ha <laughs> ha. Look, look. Mm -mm. The cryptocurrency project is fond of giving its lovers updates <laughs> about the network on a weekly basis. This is reflected in the latest weekly 
uh, report of the blockchain technology as shared by the founder, Justin Sun. As the blockchain technology continues to remain eminent in the space, the latest report revealed that 32 new distributed apps have been added to the Tron network, bang, this week. The new additions, according to the report, were dedicated to help Tron build deadlocks, wait, Tron break deadlocks in the DApp ecosystem with more focus on the gambling industry. Now, like I've told you guys, I want to see these guys get away from the gambling and stupid little crypto kitties and build distributed apps that do stuff, which will happen down the road. Yes, yes, it'll happen down the road. Yes, but I'd rather it sooner than later. I'd rather it before these guys get here to show them, like, you know, what it can, what distributed apps can really do, not just gambling. Anyways, developers on Tron Network and community to continue to focus on gameplay. Yes. That's so why you got to move away, man. You got to get some other stuff. As well as strategy for the growth of distributed app which is currently being currently being propelled by gambling games. At the moment, the number of D apps on the Tron network has risen to 294 in total. Now, remember what we read the other day, right? Um, it, you know, uh, Ethereum has what a thousand something something distributed apps. <clears throat> yeah, but what was it? It was something like I might got the number wrong. Don't diss me if I got it wrong. I'm an Ethereum holder, so I'm not trying to diss. I'm just saying. Right? Wasn't it something like 95% of them didn't have active users, though? Or something. I don't remember the percentage. I could be wrong. Right? Whereas uh, on Tron and EOS, right? They were showing how something like 80 to 90% had of the distributed apps on Tron and EOS actually had active users, actually people using it. That's what matters. I mean, if you just have a distributed app sitting there doing nothing, well, that's not generating any revenue. That's not doing anything. But uh, EOS and Tron, their apps, people actually use them. All right. Justin Sun's statement that Tron Network, oh, that Sun Network will make the number of dApp users on Tron Network multiply from millions to hundreds of millions seems to be materializing. Well, give it a shot, buddy. It is reported that Tron's distributed apps <clears throat> in recent weeks has been able to maintain a steady 30,000 daily active users. All right. So there's where we begin. 30,000 is the daily number. All right. Uh, the increased and steady active. Hold on. The increased and steady active users tron d apps are maintaining is a reflection of the potency of the network in the decentralized space tron will soon add <clears throat> more to its network with the introduction of sun network we read about this last week to give developers better experience and i think i mentioned this they did a kind of a survey of like yo well why are you guys why are you developers leaving to go to tron tron helps them with their distributed apps. Uh, Justin Sun gives them money and then also helps them, like, build it. You know, like, yeah. Like, when you go to build something on Ethereum, all right, you just got to do that yourself. Like, just, all right, buddy, you better figure it out. You know, get your thing working. Yeah, Tron sort of helps their people, helps distributed app. Um, oh, my ear got itchy. Distributed app um, developers. So they give them money plus, which is an incentive for them to come. That's one thing. But then also, once you're there, yeah, they'll help you out. All right. I think I said that before, but I don't know. Just in case I didn't, that's how they're they're getting people. Um, uh, Sun Network, according to its brochure, <laughs> will consist of features like DApp side chains, cross chain infrastructures. Uh, <clears throat> the DApp side chain is designed to help Tron DApp ecosystem up its aptitude and security, Justin Sun said. Oh, yeah, that's right. Justin came with that. Uh, they just did the uh, multi-sig, right? Bang! Yes, for the institutions to feel safe. Multi-sig. Now you just got to get that quantum proof. Look, look, that thing will be good to go. <clears throat> yes, Cardano lovers, you got that quantum proof coming. Look, look. And IOTA hodlers, we're already quantum proof like that. 
We just roll sexy like that. Look, look. Uh, help the Tron DIB set up the Zap2 and security, Justin Sun said, adding that the Sun network inclusion will raise the scalability of the network by 100 times. Yeesh. Look at this. Tron announced Tron accounts reached 2.45 million. Oh, yeah. Watch this as weekly transaction volume spikes by 87.11. Additional evidence pointing that Tron Network is growing exponentially is shown in the latest weekly report, where it's revealed that the number of accounts on Tron blockchain technology has reached 2.45 million accounts. Tron also recorded a total of 183,912,000 blah, 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 weekly transaction volume last week. And within the space of seven days, the volume was upped by 87%. Recording 344 million, 100 something thousand and change weekly transaction volume this week. So last week they were at 133 transactions. Bang. This week they're at 344 million transactions. So, bang, that's growing nicely. Like I said, look, look, when these guys get here, it's going to be two questions. Yo, you got a blockchain nerd? Huh? Is it making money? <laughs> yeah, and Justin Sun's going to be like, damn right it is. Damn right it is. I make it all manner of money, dog. So, huddlers, Tron lovers, bye. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yes, let's just keep watching that ecosystem and see how that rolls. Like I said, I believe that's what the true battle of the blockchain is in the, in the platform tokens. That's where the battle of blockchain will be. Right, there's not going to be, you know, I don't think, you know, Internet of Things. All right, VeChain and IOTA will do that. Well, you know, sending money across, you know, from bank to bank. Yeah, yeah. Stellar and uh, Ripple will do that. You know, uh, I mean, everyone's coming out with some little debit card and whatnot now. But you know what I mean? Like, blah, blah. anyways, Tron lovers, bang. Let's get to, boom, Christine Lagarde. Here she is. <laughs> She used to be the finance minister of France. I remember she's the one we had to deal with as, a, you know, I'm a Forex trader. If you're new here, I'm a Forex trader. As you can see from my face, I don't have a nine to five job. And my money makes me money. And uh, you can go check out my trades at forexfactory.com. If you type in my name, S-H-O-M-A-R-I, press enter, bang, you see my whole profile. If you go down halfway down the page on the left, press this button called images. And there you'll see some of my older trades. They're from old, they're from like 2010, 2012 and shit like that. But yeah, well, it shows you how long I've been doing it, all right? Yes, I'm an investor. I'm not a worker bee. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Now, cryptocurrencies are clearly shaking the system, IMF's Lagarde says. <laughs> Christine Lagarde, she's funny. Yeah, she got charged with fraud. She beat the charges, though. She beat those charges. <laughs> yeah, she was the French uh, finance minister uh, when I was... Well, back in the days, right? So she was the one we had to always listen to for the, uh, you know, the European Union numbers, and then, uh, and then, and then she got charged with fraud, and then, uh, yeah, she beat the charges though. She beat him pretty good. Yes, yeah, look at her all tanned and ready. All right, but now we're not here for her. She says that cryptocurrencies are clearly shaking up the system. I wouldn't really call it a shaking up, right? Yes, we're going to shake the system. We're going to disrupt it. Mm, I prefer to just call it upgrade. <laughs> okay, settle down with your, with your, 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 you know, your, uh, you know, you have an overinflatedness of what you're doing here. You're just upgrading systems. That's all your little blockchain is doing is just upgrading systems. It's not, you know, <laughs> shaking up systems. The, the system is going to work the same. We're just going to integrate a couple blockchains into it. Look, brothers. I know you hate that shit. Shmori, but it's a revolution. Oh, my gosh. Grow up, kids. Look. Financial technologies such as digital currencies are shaking the banking system <laughs> and must be monitored to maintain stability, according to the head of the International Monetary Fund, Christine Lagarde. Yes, a nice tanned old woman like that. Speaking on CNBC on Wednesday, IMF Managing Director Christine Lagarde pointed to the changing business models of commercial banks as evidence that innovations like cryptocurrencies are having a clear impact on the financial sector incumbents. 
And this is what she said. I think the role of the disruptors <laughs> and anything that is using distributed ledger technology, whether you call it crypto, assets, currencies, or whatever, that is clearly shaking the system. Exactly. Whatever you call it. You can call it cryptocurrency all you want. Call stocks. Okay? Look. And these are blockchain services companies. Look. Well, providers. Blockchain services providers that you're invested in. Now, the IMF boss warned that such financial industry changes must be accompanied by regulation. Obviously, can't just have all this new stuff and people do some shenanigans with it. We don't want innovation that would shake the system so much that we lose the stability that is needed. Exactly. If I'm a big major hedge fund and I'm about to send a billion dollar flip and buy order for, I don't know, I don't know what, uh, Fujitsu stock in Japan, I want to make sure my money gets there gets there safely, my order gets filled, and I get my goods. <laughs> so, you got to have that stability. People won't trust it. <clears throat> and it's about money, so when it comes to money, well, it's all about trust. That's why we have custodianship services, because people don't trust each other. Look! Oh, brothers, 6.38 in the morning. All right, we're reading about Christine Lagarde. Yeah, I thought she was going down. Yeah, she lived, though. She made it. For a second, it looked like they had her. You know, she's got all the best lawyers in Europe. She got off that shit. Anyways, brothers, startups and big high-tech companies alike are increasingly eyeing the banking sector as a multi-trillion. Ay, ay, ay. Multi-trillion with a T. Multi-trillion dollar market ripe for disruption. <laughs> disruption. Upgrading. All right. Facebook was reportedly developing its own cryptocurrency. And Apple released its own credit card in partnership with Goldman Sachs last month. Damn, they did. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I read that. Yeah, yeah. Gives a fuck. Uh, banks have responded with their own attempts to embrace new technology. JP Morgan is trialing a digital token called JPM Coin that would instantly settle payments between clients and Goldman Sachs, is expanding its digital retail bank called Marcus overseas. Oh, they have a digital retail bank called Marcus. Did you see that? Yes. You see, these are the little things we learn when we read articles, brothers. Yes. Have you ever heard of Marcus? I didn't hear about it. It's a digital retail bank from Goldman Sachs. Look at that. Look at these sons of bitches. One second. Let me write this down. Look at you, sneaky sons of bitches. <laughs> That's why Shamar's always on duty. Yes, Marcus. Yes, digital retail bank. All right. See how sneaky they are? All right. All right, it's overseas, so they don't let they don't talk about it over here in America. All right, but they're doing all that stuff overseas. That's what you got to look at. You got to look at what these companies are doing all the time, and that's why we always look at well, what these companies do, right? Like the V chain and the, the stuff like this. Yes, you got to keep watching them expand and grow. Or if they fuck up, like, bang, yeesh, that's a fuck up. Bang, yeesh, bye bye, yeesh. So we watch them, bang, as they grow. All right. Lagarde said technology companies entering the banking space forcefully must be subject to regulation. Of course they have to. <laughs> They will have to be held accountable so they can be fully trusted. Exactly. If they're not trusted, well, obviously no hedge fund is going <laughs> to, you know, put their 10, 20 billion dollars through the system, through it, you know, Lagarde's through that bank or whatever. Now, Lagarde's comments followed a panel discussion at the IMF Springs meeting in Washington, examining how money and payments are changing around the world as it's a changing environment. She has previously encouraged central banks to examine digital currencies in order to keep up changes in the financial landscape. And remember, we read about there are 40, about 40 banks right now, central banks that are looking into um, uh, decentralized. Um, what are they called? What do they call these again? CBDCs. Central bank digital currency, CBDC, central bank digital currencies. Yeah, there's about 40 of them already. Okay. Uh, many digital currencies like Bitcoin are decentralized. 
meaning they are not controlled by a central authority. Well, that's never going to happen in the business world, or in the company world, but bang, look. So there we go. Yes, they're clearly shaking the system up. And she says they need to be regulated and they will be regulated. And that will bring us our money. All right. All right. Yes. There she is, Christine Lagarde. Look at how tan she is. Wait, don't you do any work, woman? Why y'all tanned like that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why y'all tanned like that? Yeah. You know? Whenever you see a woman all tan like that in the winter, like, look, look, woman, don't you do any work? Or a man. Now they're just sitting under the tanning, tanning in the tanning salon or sitting on the beach. She's from France, so she's got the south of France. You know, she's got the rich area down there, uh, in the south of France, what's that called? Cannes and all that area. That's where all the rich play. Every summer, June, July, all the rich go down there and play. Yep, that's why the markets get slow in June, July. Everyone goes to the south of France. They bring their big old yachts. And they all go meet there and talk about all the money they made. Now they ripped off the regular guy. Look, look, that's okay. You guys go vacation. Bang! Because me and my crew are waiting for you. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side of that vacation, sons of bitches. And you got to bring us your money. Look, brothers, let's get you back to your wives' lives. Bang, let's chill it and kill it. Bang. Yes. All right, what we got here? Yes, the usual suspects. Hey, hey. DP Entertainment to you, brother. Bang. Bitcoin Kong. Oh, Kong. Oh, and, and then he changed it again. <laughs> what does he have now? Oh, he's got a gorilla with a look. Oh, I guess it's a Kong. Well, a Kong is a gorilla, right? Yes, with a look, look. <laughs> yes, Kong. You're a creative guy. <laughs> cool. Yes, Kong. Bang. Don't look, Kong. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt the ripple lovers over this one too much. Oh, Japanese bank abandons its work. It's the fifth largest bank in Japan. Probably makes it one of the top 15 in the world. They were like, yo, yo, fuck this shit and this ripple shit. Look, and fuck SBI. <laughs> you know, SBI is just a holding company. It's not a bank. And actually, SBI is moving into actually building um, building a... Uh, what is it? Um, uh, what do you call it? The mining rigs, the mining uh, things, the GPUs. Yeah, yeah. SBI is about to start doing that. Yeah, they're a weird little company. Fucking shit. Anyways, so Kong, be gentle. Be gentle, brother. Yes, be gentle. All right. Bang. Who we got here? Ivan Suki Sudar. All right, a new guy. Cool. See you, brother. Bang. What does this shit say? Nothing. All right. Bang. See you, brother. Crypto times as usual. Bang. Good to see you back. You've been uh, you've been gone for a while. Missed you. Yes. Finally, fuck stick. He lives another day. <laughs> That's what we're going to have to do with fucking Hurricane Masta. Just count the days that he lived. <laughs> we're going to have to. We'll have to have like a chart. Like how we have the championship nations. We'll have to have a chart. Everyday Hurricane Master lives on Twitter, right? And you know, like when, when criminal when people are in jail, right? They go like this. They like they like, they they mark the wall with a one line for every day they're in the jail. Yeah, we'll have to mark lines for everyday Hurricane Master is still with us. <laughs> Come on, fuckstick, stop doing that crazy shit you're doing. Bye, Hurricane Master. Love you, brother. Bang. Binham. Bang. Always with the good information. Love you, brother. Son of a bitch! Bang! 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 Yes, I gave him three slow bangs there. Love you, Ronquez. And this is Ronquez homeboy right here, Dino. Bang! From the Netherlands. Bang! Yes, brother, love you. Yes, Blockchain Stallion. Oh, and so, sorry about yesterday. Man, she wrote an amazing song. So what I'm going to do is Monday, I'm going to play the song through my phone onto this. Actually, I just had thought about it when I sat down. But because the show was already so late and I wanted you guys to get it. But next time on Monday, I'm going to play the song. Yeah, she's talking about bang, 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 building my warehouse strong. I got B-Chain, Tron, blah, 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 all this shit. Yo, it's badass. I don't know if you guys could hear it. I don't think you could. But don't worry, man. Monday, bang, and that's going to be our theme song around here. Well, until she, you know, puts it on an album and then we'll probably have to stop playing it. <laughs> bang. All right. Well, we got Radster. Bang, Radster. What's going on, brother? 
It can't rain all the time. Bengals. <laughs> He's from, is this guy from Cincinnati? That's hilarious. This chick, she said she's from Denver, Colorado. And obviously, this guy must be from Cincy. Heesh. Hold strong, Bengal lover. Hold strong. <laughs> oh, man. That's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. Shit. <laughs> man. And that's like, what's your name? Uh, one of Poppy Woods crew. Uh, anyway, the guy's from L.A. Fuck, buddy. That was a bad year this year. I thought Gruden would have had that. Look, Edwin. Bang, brother. Edwin wiling out. Crazy Edwin. Bye. Love you, brother. As always. Uh, oh, and this one, Big Queen Kong. I don't like that finger. That looks gross. Nah, I don't like that one. I mean, I did give it a like just because, you know, you're my homie, but yeesh, that's gross. Oh, there's Lisa. Lisa, see you, girl. Bang. Yes, our lass. Our lass from Ireland. Crypto Carlito, bang, see you, brother. Invictus, bang, see you, dude. Brother. Yes, anyone else? Just a couple more. Cri oh, Crypto Bridgie, bang, girl, yes. All right, where's Crypto Trini hasn't come around lately. All right, that seems to be the usual suspects. Oh, there's Poppy, there he is. So wait, I was waiting for that, that sunshiny logo. Poppy Wood. Bang, see you, brother. All right, cats, get you back to your wives. Lies, fuck this shit. Bang. Hello, everybody. All right. So, guys, we had a great show today. Yes. I know, Ripple Lovers. I know, I know. That's got to hurt. You got to ask yourself. I mean, I keep telling you, man. I mean, for fuck's sakes. I tease you guys and I fuck with you. But seriously, like as an investor, you have to ask yourself. What? These banks, there's over 200 banks using RippleNet. Not one, not one has beep pressed the button to use XRP, the, the X Rapid part. Yeah, something's wrong. Something is wrong. Now, you can sit there and hold on all you want, listen to that Garling House bullshit and blow your sunshine up your ass. Something's definitely wrong because banksters, if Ripple, if X, if X Rapid is supposed to save a bank 40 to 7% of money, yeah, they would do it right away. It's a bankster. He'll kill his own mother for $5. I'm just saying ripple lovers. And so, you know, you know go fuck yourselves. All right, brothers. <laughs> v -chain, nah, I'm just kidding. You know, don't go fuck yourselves. But, you know, man, at least better have some other shit in your, in your, port, in your warehouse. Because that one right there, that's one dog that ain't going to hunt when these boys get here. That dog ain't going to hunt. <laughs> no, sir. But here's a dog that will hunt. V-Chain. Bye. Oh, and it's hunting hard. More money, more partnerships. I mean, guys, do we have to go through it anymore? You know what I mean? Like, you guys keep sending me V-Chain stories. It's like, lock, lock, lock. you know, we know already. You know what I mean? Like, how much more piling on <laughs> do you want? How many more brand name Fortune 500 mega corporations do you want? You know what I mean? It, you guys keep sending me this stuff, and it's like, I mean, I read it, obviously, but I'm just like, yeah, dude, we know, man. They, they're killing it. Like, it's like this. VeChain is at the level where they're murdering it so much. I don't need to hear any more partnerships, any more customers. Yeah, that's enough. They have, they have when these guys, bye. When these sons of bitches arrive, yeah, they're going to pile in on what VeChain already has. You're going to tell me about another one next week? It's already enough. It's overkill. <laughs> VeChain's overkill. Same with IOTA, right? Fortune 500 partnerships. Yeah, it's overkill. When I re remember I told you about IOTA the other day when I read that story, IOTA with the chat, the chat app. IOTA has a new chat app. It's like, so fucking what? <laughs> Who gives a shit about their little chat app? They have major Fortune 500 partnerships, right? And so, you know, when you become, when you're in the V chain and IOTA level of, of, of customers, you know, one more. All right. You know, you got another one. All right. You know, it just, it just keeps going now. You know, it's not. You know, it's not like, you know, like if you're a Ripple lover, if you get one bank, oh, you better be happy like a motherfucker. Yeah. If each chain gets another company, it's like, all right, they got another one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's they've already reached the level of you're going to make millions from that. Oh, let me show you something about that, actually making millions from B-Chain. Check this shit out. So let's just take a quick peek. 
Why, how do you know we're going to make millions tomorrow? Well, because I'm not a fucking moron, idiot. So check this out. VeChain, it's less than one fucking penny. Here we are right now, right? Here it is. 0.06 cents. It's a sixth of a penny. Now, there are 55 billion of them in circulation. Now, if they go up to a dollar, the co- uh, and so hold on. So there are 55 billion of them in circulation. The company is only worth 370 million. It's not even worth a billion dollars yet. Yeah, when these fucking guys get here and see all the partnerships, all the fucking partnerships that VeChain has. Look, look. Hold on, I'll even show you some. Fuck this. Let's go have a little VeChain time together, brothers. Because actually, one of the brothers, Justin the Darkness, yo, he put this thing up the other day. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah. Justin doesn't fuck around. He'll tell you some scary stuff, but he also gives you some some good stuff. (laughs) Not so spooky. Yes. But it's spooky usually. Where is his shit? Ah, where is it? All right, hold on. I got to go up a little more. He gave it to us a couple days ago. Oh, wait. See? See the kind of shit I got to put up with? With people on my Twitter? All right, just big old fat nugs. <laughs> You're just showing off frosty nugs. <laughs> These guys are always talking about the nugs. Look, brothers. Oh, that was my happy birthday thing they sent me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, so watch this, though. Watch this. Bang. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the money. Yeah, guys, Twitter gets a little loose. The boys get a little loose on there. <laughs> Half the time I show up, they're just talking about all the good old nugs they got. <laughs> and the new vape pens they got. And the new... So let's go through a list. So those are all the partnerships already, but but I'm just going to show you a, a visual of the list, a chain. Look, what the fuck's going on here with my computer? All right, hold on, brothers. Hold on, brothers. Oh, they didn't show the pictures. That was the... Wait a minute, hold on. Ah. Oh. oh, here they come. All right, all right, all right, hold on. Yeah, look at all these companies. DNVGL, obviously, one of the biggest authenticators and all that in the world. BYD. Uh, the biggest electric car company in China. China. One in five people. Bang! One in five. Bang! 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 Oh, man. I want these Chinese to hurry up and get here, brothers. Oh, man, brothers. And those stinking Indians. Come on, Indians. Let's go. All right. Settle down. Price Waterhouse Cooper. Yeah. Aren't they some auditing thing like the biggest in the world? Air. Oh, do you know this name? Some of you probably own one. Yes. Renault, also a car company. Oh, bang. Fucking what's it called? Oh, and there's the one. Bang, the second largest shipping company in the world. Obviously, I don't know every one of these. Stanford. Stanford, Michigan State. uh, Blah, blah, blah. Oxford. Yeah, a lot of, they have a lot of those. But anyway, and so what, oh, there it is. Oh, this is the one, D.B. Schenker, the second largest shipping company in the world. Bang. And then all these other ones are huge for their industry. And this is what I'm trying to show you about V-Chain. Yeah. There's 55 billion of them in circulation. With those customers right there. You don't think that VeChain can go to a dollar? One dollar will only make it a $55 billion company. That's fuck all. And I'm so you know I'm a conservative. I told you guys I'm a conservative investor. And so I like to look at sort of the, the least it can do, something can do. And then bang, bang, if it does more, then you're happy, right? Whereas if you sort of, you know, like a ripple lover, hope for a $5, $100 ripple, yeah, and your shit's still up 30 cents. You yeah, little disappointing last year, huh, Ripple Lovers? What happened to that $500 Ripple, Ripple Lovers? <laughs> but, but to be a realistic investor, yeah, a $1, a $1 V-chain will only make it a $55 billion company. 
with all those partnerships and clients, you don't think that's worth $55 billion already? When these guys get here, don't be surprised <laughs> at an instant $1 V-chain. And don't be surprised at a 2 to $3 V-chain. Yes. And what I'm saying is, with it at these kind of prices, you're going to make your millions. You can make millions off this. You can make millions. The market, the market cap's only, it's not even a billion dollars. Look at all these fucking names. <laughs> Look at all these customers. Not one billion? It's not worth one billion even? Brothers, when these guys get here, because that's what we're in right now. Shmori, why isn't it like that? Yeah, because these are, uh, what's happening in this market, yeah, they're just cult members, right? Everyone's a cult member. You're telling me, here's VeChain, we're at 387 million, and they have major partnerships. And you're telling me that this piece of shit right here, this piece of shit right here, with banks even running away, is worth what is worth thirteen billion dollars? Get the fuck! <laughs> That's I tell you. When these boys get here, there's going to be a lot of surprises in this market. A lot of surprises. Not for me. A lot of people are going to be surprised. All right, let's get you back. Bang to the wives and live. So, but I just want to show you the V chain. So, all you V chain hodlers, you're going to make millions. Yes. Millions, dog. That's the easiest one to make millions. Hold on. Let me get back to this even. Let's luck, luck. It's not time for your wives and lives yet. Bang. Shamari still got to talk. When you got shit like this going down, motherfucker, luck. Some of the biggest companies in the world <laughs> as customers. What the fuck do you think? These guys, I'm going to tell you something. When these guys get here, they're going to laugh. They are going to laugh their fucking asses off at these little fucking retail investors who were so stupid, who didn't get the proper shit. They're going to laugh their asses. They're going to laugh at fuckers who missed out on all these gems that are right here in front of your face. And then they're also going to laugh at motherfuckers who, oh, poured their life savings into just some fugazi. Yo, man, I'm telling you, that's how it's going to go down. That's how it's going to go down. But all you V-Chain hodlers... Like I said, if VeChain goes to a dollar, that's only a $55 billion company. That's fuck all. That's fuck all. For those kind of clients and the growth in, what, in the industries that they're, they're, they're in, $55 billion only, that's easy. So that's easy money for you. Not even a penny. It's not even a penny yet. All right, I'll tell you what to do with your money. I'll just give you my opinion. Bang! All right, let's chill it and get... Oh, well, you got to talk about Tron, though. Yes, Tron lovers. I didn't forget about you. How could I? Look, look. <laughs> How could I? Tron hodlers. <clears throat> yeah, so, and that's... So, that's the key. That is... The key to Tron is, uh, you know, active users. Active users. Active users. You can have this many transactions. You can have this many dApps. Well, if no one's fucking using them. Well, then it's just a useless piece of shit just sitting there, right? Obviously, Ethereum is a different thing. We've spoken about it here many times. Ethereum is always already classified as a commodity. Here in America, through our SEC, it's governed by our CFTC, the uh, Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Wait. Anyway, the CFTC here. And that's why Ethereum is never going to go anywhere. But Tron, bang. Well, that's what you want to see. You want to see active users. How many people use this thing daily? How many people put their money into this thing daily? How does it generate revenue? Generating revenue as a blockchain services provider. Well, bang. Tron's generating it through the D apps, and it's looking real good. So there we go. And then here we go, Christine Lagarde. Yeah, she says that the, uh, you know, the new, it's not crypto really, it's more DLT technology, distributed ledger technology is disrupting banks. You can call it disruption, I just call it upgrading the systems. Duh. You know, you can call it whatever you want to feel revolutionary about yourself. Uh, you're just upgrading old computer systems. And she says that it's going to go great. So bang, let's chill and kill, let's get you back to your wives' lives. Bang, love you about this. Look, press the bell. Oh, I mean, sorry, subscribe below. 
press the bell so you get automatic notifications. Look, look, look. This is my favorite time of the day. I love doing this. Love it. Love talking money. Love talking crypto. Bye. Love talking to you guys. Just having the brothers with me. So look. Yes. Like I said, brothers, I had a good night tonight. 6.52 in the a.m. Like I always say. Bang. Shamari Clark. Bang. I'm always on duty. Best believe that, motherfucker. Look, look. Love you, brothers and sisters. See you on Tuesday. Bang. Over and out.